Hello students and welcome to my channel Math Sub. So today in this video I'll talk about the two tables of compound propositions, right? So before I begin with the two table of compound propositions, let us quickly revise what were logical connectives, right? So when two statements, simple statements are combined, we use some words or symbols which are known as logical connectors. And what are logical connectors? I've covered up in my previous videos. They are the conjunction operator, which has been represented with the symbol, opposite victory symbol, then disjunction, the victory symbol, that is, so I'll just write the little meanings also. Conjunction meant and, disjunction was or, then the negation is the negative of the given sentence. So whatever is given to us, not that statement is negation. Then we have a conditional statement that is also known as implication. So the statement was if P, then Q, right? And finally, we had the biconditional statement or a by implication where it means P if and only if Q. So if you have missed out these videos, please watch these videos so that you get to know the technicalities of every logical operator. Right now for the compound. So now let us understand the compound truth table. So compound truth table means when you have to tell about the truth values of a compound statement. Right. So let us check the statement. So according to the statement, this is the final output that we require. So first of all, let us see what are all the input variables. So we have two inputs and according to the requirements of the output, we prepare the rest of the columns of the table. So we require a column for A or B. Then we require a column for not A. And then we require a column for A or B and with negation A. Right? Okay. So what are all the possible values? Let's put in the values. So both the statements can be false. One of them can be true and false. Both can be true, right? So when both are false, A or F or F will give you false. True or false will give you true. False or true will also give you true. True or true will also give you true. Now what is negation A? Whenever F A is false, negation A is true. And whenever A is true, negation A is false. Right? Now let us combine them with an AND operator. F and T is always going to be F. T and F is always going to be F. T and T will always be T. And T and F will always become F. Right? So I hope you understood how to calculate the truth values of a compound statement. Let us do one more example to clear us. So then the next example, we have P or negation Q implies P and Q. So according to the statement, what are the input variables? The input variables are P and Q. Then we have negation Q. Then we have P or negation Q. Then we have P and Q. So I'm writing all the things according to the statement, right? And finally, we have P or negation Q implies P and Q. Done? Okay. So now let's fill in the truth values. So both the statements can be false. One of them can be true and one of them can be false. Or both the statements can be true. Now, whenever Q is false, negation Q is going to be true. And whenever Q is true, negation Q will be false. Right? So now let us combine P or negation Q. F or T will be T. T or T will be T. F or F will be F. T or F will be T. Now, what is P and Q? P and Q. F and F is F. T and F is F. F and T is F. T and T is T. Right? Now, for implication, if you remember the table, if the first statement is true and the second statement is false, only then implication gives you a false answer. Rest, every time it is going to give you a true answer. So, true implies false is false. Same true implies false is false. False implies false is true. True implies true is true. Right? 
So I hope you have understood the compound truth tables. Okay. So thank you so much for listening to me. And if you like the video, do hit the like button and do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video. So have a nice day and thank you so much.